we go. So if you turn this, it goes up and down, but honestly right there, you don't have to move it at all. I'll tighten it right now, but there you go. So when the value turn makes your speed just quick. Oh, you'll loosen this button, this right here. And just turn it, there you go. So it's that one to turn. And then um, battery is pretty strong, but in case you need it, push this on, the blue lights will go on and you just plug it in right there. This can sit on the ground for you. At this time, may I have you turn your attention to the south end of the field. Our brass band will be playing. At this time, would you please stand to welcome and honor the 2023 class of Hilltop High School.
and distinguished class international greeters. A special tradition is to give an international welcome to our guests in the six foreign languages offered through the flags program at Hilltop High School. Alex Moore, Alan Luca, Ayuso, Luis Lubers Gonzalez, Francisco Mayoral, Catalina Ruan, and Valentina Olsegueda Beltran.
for your heart and join me with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. My name is Elaine Elefante Piano, proud interim principal of Hilltop High School. On this special occasion, I wish to extend my warmest welcome to our special guests, staff, Parents, guardians, family, friends, and the community who have joined us today for Hilltop High's 64 graduation ceremony. What an exciting day this is for you. And just a quick reminder that after this, Hilltop Middle will be having their promotion ceremony after this. So please help us manage the traffic by leaving as soon as you can after the ceremony. To the Hilltop High faculty, today I recognize your crucial work in the academic preparation of the graduating students we see before us. I speak on behalf of the entire administrative team that we are very privileged to work and serve alongside a dedicated, professional, and caring faculty and staff. To the family members and friends who have supported this group of graduates, this ceremony honors you as well. It recognizes your investment in the growth and development of your students. Lastly, special greetings to this graduating class as principal of Hilltop High School, the class of 2023. So before we go any further, I'd like to introduce our honored guests and faculty who are here today. So please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Mr. Robert Hughes, Director of Human Resources. Deanne Vicedo, District Office Clerk of the Board. John Salt, faculty member and parent, and his wife, Don. Louis Zumstein, Principal of Montgomery High School, and his wife, Alejandra. Lee Romero, principal, Benita Vista High School, and his wife, Eileen. Members of the administrative team who are around here at the start of the field, Nicoletta Bolgar, assistant principal, Daniel Crook, Brenda Garcia, Mark Carpizo, our two psychologists, Richard Macon, and Nancy Mariscal. Members of our counseling team, Maggie Padilla, Nancy Yamada, Monica Perez, and the same her name to come with us, Loretta Villapando, and Nancy Shirokov. From the Hilltop faculty, on the field, to the teachers who are seated on the field, please stand. You're not standing. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Our Teacher of the Year, Jenny Piles. Jessica Alessio, Senior Class Advisor. Our teachers who are conferring, conferring diplomas. Todd Blankenship, Mark Bliss, Mark Gonzalez, Jane Henderson, Rosalba Lopez Macias, 
and Sherry sold out. This evening, we honor our retirees. They led our senior class in. I would like to present to them their honorary life membership to the Hilltop High School. Their service is valued and appreciated. So could you please step forward to the podium? Mark Henderson, <laughs> retiring after 28 years. Yeah. David Kerr, special education teacher, retiring after 11 years of service. Yeah. I'm Carl Valdivia, world language teacher, Retiring after 35 years of service to wow. the world. And Marla Michael Cuevas, 20 years of service on the Hilltop High School as a library technician. Yeah. Here are our retirees. Thank you.
and are ready to face your life boldly, one step at a time. The additional challenges you face in high school have prepared you for the challenges of college and life. I have simply one request, that you remember you have a responsibility to share your knowledge, time, skills, and resources with those who have been less fortunate. And I have to say it one last time, remember my 4 b mindsets. Be positive, be present, be persistent, and most of all, be kind. You have my warmest best wishes and mark of congratulations. 63 members in your class have earned the honors diploma. The top two students in your class have the highest grade point average based on the board policy and earned the distinction of graduating as the valedictorian and salutatorian. And they have also earned the privilege of addressing their class. I would like to introduce our first speaker, our salutatorian, Gabrielle Stubblefield. Gabrielle is graduating with an honors diploma and is a CSF life member with a 4.5 grade point average. She will be attending Brown University. Thank you. And you look at it and think, I have no idea what to write. Like as soon as the paper is in front of you, your mind just goes blank. But that's fine, you think. I can just make something else, sprinkle in a little academic terminology. And the least I can get is a C. Plus, only the teacher will be reading it anyway. It's not like the entire graduating class will have to hear this essay. Well, breaking news, that's exactly how I felt writing this essay. Except, the teacher isn't the only one who has to listen to it. Instead, the entire graduating class of 2023 and their families have to listen to this masterpiece. The writer's block I was experiencing was definitely real. Not because I was concerned with the potential grade I would get for this essay, but for the fact that I wanted my words to reach all 432 of you, give or take, and I wanted to take something from the speech. Just like the speech is slowly developing into something beautiful, everyone here is too. Believe it or not, class of 2023, we will all be embarking on this journey called life that will lead us in many different directions. While I don't know what that direction will be, I can confidently say that the path you will end up on will lead you to do what you were made to do better than anyone else could. I firmly believe that each and every one of us was created for something great and will develop into people who change lives and change the world. Now let's get back to that. Now that the essay is finished, you turn it into the teacher and they give you a rubric or a grading scale to grade it, to decide whether or not it gets the points or whether the essay is high caliber. That rubric serves a path for the grader, but in life, and I think you know where I'm going with this, we don't have a predetermined route or end goal. With each minute of each day of each month, our lives are turning and our perspectives are changing. Believe it or not, the way you see things right now won't be the same thing where you see things in a few months or even a year. But guess what? That's okay. We are going to grow and we are going to change. Don't fight it. Celebrate it. 
The, the word sonder is realizing that everyone, including the strangers passing on the street, have a life as complex as your own, which they are constantly living, even if they're not fully aware of it. Class of 2023, as I wrote this page, oh, sorry. Class of 2023, as I wrote this speech, I realized that we each begin to grow in our own lives, growing separately, yet growing together. And that's honestly really exciting. You are all the main characters in your own story. So take advantage of that. And I am so honored to be a part of your lives, even if it's just for high school or just this speech. Remember class of 2023, we are all becoming our own people with our own stories and experiences. Don't forget where you're coming from, but never lose sight of where you're going. I feel as if my speech is complete, and I've said what I needed to say. Thank you all for this wonderful adventure, and welcome to the next phase of your life. For me, I feel as if Michelle Obama sums up our journey the best when she said, Becoming isn't about arriving somewhere or achieving a certain aim. I see it instead as a forward motion, a means of evolving, a way to reach continuously towards a better self. The journey doesn't end. Good luck on your journeys, class of 2023. Thank you. Our second speaker today is Marilyn Victorian, Jack Taylor, and our second speaker. Jack, will you please come forward? Jack is graduating today with an honors diploma and is a CSF life member with a grade point average of a 4.24. Jack will be attending UC Santa Barbara. Please welcome Jack Diller. Graduating class of 2023, it is my pleasure to be representing our years of valedictorian. And on behalf of all these seniors, first, I'd like to thank our wonderful teachers for throughout the last 12 to 13 years, mostly helping us succeed and reach our true potential, and for mostly providing a safe space for us to learn and thrive. I'd also like to thank you, parents, for always being that backbone behind us. Even when we experience the hardest of all, we all recognize how much you sacrifice and strive to better our lives. And even though we may not visualize it, we all greatly appreciate how you still work to have nothing but the absolute best for us. And most importantly, I'd like to thank the graduating class for not only being present and determined during these very unusual four years, but most importantly, standing beside your friends when they needed it the most. Now is the time in our life where this type of connection is paramount. And most importantly, because at this age, we are all scared. But not scared as in an irrational fear of spiders or zodiac signs or, oh, Mr. Blankenship is starting to grade type of scared. It's scared as in a feeling of uneasiness, like looking down a dark corridor or an open sea on a boat. For that fear, a big chunk is because that, that leap into our new life is not going to be easy. Because it is easy to be comfortable, and we will not be comfortable wherever we're going. We like staying in a nice, cozy spot. But wherever, whatever, and however we do after this year, I can guarantee that it will not be the same as it was. Our cozy spot right here in the Foz will quickly vanish. However, change is something to embrace because it's never good to be too comfortable. Yet now it is, it is looked down upon to be different and it's looked down upon to try new things. Through social media and others' expectations, 
it's so easy for people to be quick to judge and criticize. And this fear, it affects us in one of two ways. One, we are too scared to even try and attempt something for fear of messing up and losing. So we don't bother to give it a shot. Or two, we pursue our goals, but only to appease expectations set by others, not for ourselves, motivated by being too scared to fail and disappoint those around us. The latter was me. I learned about the position of valedictorian, and with my fear of disappointment, I worked for it, and it wasn't easy. So, after the rigorous workload of my senior year, I had achieved it, and I was proud. But, but mainly, I felt relieved. In, in reality, it, it wasn't me that wanted this award. My, my fear did, and, and I had lost. My, my fear had won. But, but now, I realize that, that internal drive, that, that inner voice, that, that inner voice for ourselves is, is the most valuable and important thing we could ever have. We have our teachers to influence us and assist us in doing our best. We have our close friends, which can change our behavior to get us reach our peak, hopefully. We have our family, who will always want the very, very best for us, even if we can't see it originally. But I can say this with 100% guaranteed success, beyond a reasonable doubt, the person that knows you all best is sitting on the seat that you all are on. That voice, that, that mini Jack, Jack, or mini Arlene, or, or mini Richard, Richard that, that is the voice that will turn sides. It'll, It'll make rivers flow upstream. That, that voice will change our world. Undoubtedly, we all have expectations to uphold. We are all pressured. We all have fear. As students, as siblings, as parents, and as people, it is our duty in life to overcome this fear. So we succeed for ourselves and others. And we will find it for ourselves that we will give our all to succeed. And so now I've learned, and I'll try to teach you, that life is scary. Life is unknown and brutal and unfair. And we can all try to point a finger at a solution or a rule. But even these rules are complex and illogical. But among us all, not just the senior class, we have the ability to do two things. One of them is to experience. Experiencing that first day of middle school and that joy and that fear that came along with it. Meeting Mr. Prado for the first time and seeing all those Funko Pops on the walls and celebrating his birthday. Sitting with those people in first period that you have no idea how much, how much time you'd, sometimes sadly, spend within the next six years. And, and over those next six years, you can laugh with friends, argue with friends, cry with friends, fight with friends. We've experienced now our last few months of high school, getting accepted into colleges, not getting accepted into colleges, taking finals, giving away senior photos, signing yearbooks, and that last day, that final day, those last six periods we would ever have as seniors at Hilltop High School, where we give our final goodbyes to Blank and Soldow and Mr. G and each other as students. But now, we will all experience graduation, something else that we've never experienced before, whether that be joy, dread, sadness, or relief. We are all graduating seniors and we've experienced a lot. But there is so, so much more for us to experience in this world. The second thing we can all do in this world is to be able to try. No matter where we are or who we are, we all not just have the ability to try, but to also persevere. In a world of infinite unknowns and impossible circumstances, that is the best we can do. That is one immutable aspect of our lives. No matter what situation we may find ourselves in, we can all aim to push forward through any endeavor which stands in our way. We may fall, we may stumble, we may think about quitting, 
in actuality, we may even quit. But even still, as long as we live, every day, in any way, we we'll always get a little bit better. We will always learn through experience. So, teachers, parents, staff, and students, I'll finish my speech by saying that life is scary. Life is unknown, and I don't really know what I'm talking about. But I do know that even against all this hardship and suffering and distress of the unknown, through living, we will experience. And through experience, we will live. So why? Why graduating class of 2023, despite all this adversity we face all throughout life, will we stand tall and past fear? Because that's what heroes do. Have a great afternoon. California Scholarship Federation is a statewide organization to honor high school students with outstanding academic achievement. Our chapter at Hilltop High School was started in 1960 to foster and promote high standards of scholarship, service, and citizenship on the part of our students. Each of our students has achieved life membership by applying and qualifying for chapter membership for at least four semesters beginning in the 10th grade. Today, it is my pleasure to recognize and celebrate this year's CSF Life members. Will the 2023 CSF Life members please stand? Congratulations to Hill Top High CSF Life members, their families, and the entire senior class of 2023.
Good afternoon. The Honors Diploma recognizes students who have earned an A or B in at least 13 semester honors or advanced placement courses, two of which must be taken in the first semester of their senior year. Students must also have at least a 3.0 unweighted GPA in scholarship and in citizenship. This year, we are recognizing 63 honors diploma recipients. At this time, will all the honor diploma recipients please stand? I am also honored to recognize the California State Seal of Biliteracy. The seal is awarded to students who have demonstrated proficiency in English and a world language. This year, we are recognizing 52 biliteracy diploma recipients. At this time, will all the biliteracy diploma recipients please stand?
your families and your friends. Therefore, Principal Infantiliano, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to accept this graduating class of 2023. Congratulations, graduates. Lorraine Inoviso Diosa, 
Leilani Meili Umanya Avinia. Isabella Marissa Estrada. Francis Lucia. Esteban Eduardo Fernandez. Christian Gabriel Perfecto Uy. Robert Stephen Foster. Arlie Giselle Vasquez. Irene Franco. Omar Mohamed De Adrian Gomez. Hannah Carmel Zimmerman. Valeria Gonzalez. Leila Zimstein. Itel Natalie Cuadrado. Miguel Angel Gonzalez Jr. Ashley Herrera. Emiliano Rodriguez Alvarez. Jordan Onaya Hidalgo. Gael Macías. Gael Aguilar. Natalie Giselle Macías. Itzel Aguirre. Estefanía Belén Macías Jurado. Joshua Alamilla Garcia. Richard Daniel Magaña. Haley Kathleen Alba. Valeria Marquez. Esteban Alberto. Graham Marshall. Celeste Daniela Alcaraz. Andrew Martinez. Frida Alday. Paola Isabela Martinez. Eric Alfaro. Malachi Ellington Jalik McCoy. Leslie Eileen Alonzo Castro. Maya Aguetzali Guadalupe Medina Nunez. Isabela Alvarado. Nishanta Aleshai Medina Ortiz. Lillian Camille Alvarado. Jimena Medrano Michel. Mia Angela Ambriz. Luis David Mejia Jr. Christian Angeli Morales. Brandon Lee Mikas. Oscar Arteaga Lizaraga. Daisy Hurtado Mediola. Byron Alexander Rivera. Ivan Oscar Mendoza. Abigail Astorga. King Charles Mendoza. Alexander Alina. Luis Mendoza. Ivan Ayala. Liliana Pestas. Jaden Fuentes Gonzalo. Isabel Mesa. Nathan Tyler Baker. Sarah Mesa. Carlos Mauricio Barahona. Kayla Michael. Nayeli Alexis Barajas. Noah Miller. Sofia Camacho. Jaden Molina. Roberto Barajas. Diego Molina Sazueta. Alyssa Marie Barata. Arnoldo Morín. Kenya Gitati Mario Salila. Palomo Ocheita. Alexis Borges, Viviana Muñoz, 
Brandon Alejandro Gomez. Michael Angel Sanchez Romero. Jada Michelle Godinez Rodriguez. Saul Sanchez. Mallory Judith Lopez. Ross Sanchez Garcia. Juan Gonzalez Martinez. Aaron Sandoval. Nina Eliana Gonzalez. Mariana Gonzalez. Yes. Yeah, Diego Paulino Santini. Charlotte Ray Gonzalez. Walter Diego Samira. Diego Manuel Gonzalez. Nina Ray Salcedo. Jimmy Daniel Gonzalez. Lawrence Hopp. Juan Pablo Gonzalez. Naomi Abigail Gonzalez. Sabrina Sarri. Sophia Isabel Gonzalez. Aaron Silva. Jonathan Alexis Gonzalez Garcia. Giovanni Renoghi. Khalid Gray. Estrella Guerrero. Alma Reese Guzman. Gustavo Guzman. Elise Soto. Dahlia Ayer. Elise Soto. Chloe Hampton. Christian Ray Genoviso. Kayla 
chapter. Before I begin, I would like to thank my family, my friends, and staff, especially my parents, who have pushed me to become the person I am and who led me to this moment. I would also like to show my gratefulness to my fellow class officers and Ms. Massimento. You guys helped so much to make this senior year amazing. Now, please, seniors, come with me to turn your tassel from the right side to the left. Next year, this will be you. I know. Excited. Go first. Yes. Go first, get it done. Thank you again. Thank you. Yay! 